The Vina installation videos are to be used exclusively to support qualified and trained skilled workers. The full quality of Vina products can only be guaranteed by those professionals. Under no circumstances should anyone untrained attempt to fit Vina products using installation videos. Welcome to the Vina W17 Easy installation instructions video. You need a spirit level, power drill, long bit holder, soft head hammer, set of allen keys, two, three and five millimeter drill bit, counter bore, screwdriver, rechargeable screwdriver, tape measure and blocks. The profiles are marked with stickers so you can see which is the inside. We describe how to drill the locking mechanism here. The accessories box contains the following accessories. The actuator, a protective bumper for glass, couplings, a claw for moving the glass panes and another protective bumper for glass. Check whether everything is vertical and horizontal. The floor also has to be checked. And measure the diagonals. To prepare the top guide profile, drill a hole in the groove provided for this purpose approximately every 50 centimetres. Insert the couplings into the guide profile cover. and screw the top guide profile to the element above it. Now take the side wall gap sealing profiles and drill these approximately every 50 centimeters. I recommend lowering the side wall gap sealing profiles as they will fit better on the building structure. Push the side wall gap sealing profile into the top guide profile. Now align it and drill it. Drill the bottom track every 50 centimetres. It has to be lowered here so that the countersunk screws do not protrude. Now we place the lower track under the sidewall gap sealing profile and align it horizontally. If it is not properly aligned horizontally, then I have to put blocks under the bottom track profile here at least every 50 centimeters. As soon as the track profile is horizontal at the bottom, drill it to the floor. If the construction should have one or more optional leaf activators, they have to be tightened beforehand.
Now insert the first leaf. With the leaf activator option, climb a ladder and use the scale to check which activator you have to use. Now fit the actuator using the value read on the scale. Reinsert the leaf. If the leaves are not parallel to each other, you now have the option of adjusting the glass. For this, loosen the side cap and screw the glass up and down using a 4mm Allen key. Now screw the cap back on again. Position the leaf stop bar correctly. Fix it using the grub screw and drill. Screw the second grub screw in. You now have a flush connection. Set the anti-lift device so that the leaf can only be moved one millimeter up. Then test that it works. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions then please contact the service hotline.